So, Winter 06, number 19. Uh, so, the first part uh, shouldn't be a little bit of a chem 2 stuff, but we have ethanol, C2H5OH. It's written at the top of the question. We want to undergo combustion. So, this is just basically chem 2A stuff. You go CO2 and water are all the, always the products of combustion. After that, you just balance. So, uh, one carbon here, so I better put two, or there's two carbons there, so I better put two there. There are six hydrogens here, so I better put three here. Then three plus four uh, is, uh, shoot, I lost it. Three plus four, that's seven. Minus one, so I better put three there. Okay, there's part A. Um, the state symbols, it tells you in the question that this is a liquid. Everything else is a gas, except water, yeah. I think if you would have put it a gas, it wouldn't have been a big deal for me. Okay, use the three reactions above to calculate the enthalpy of formation of one mole of ethanol, given the unbalanced reaction, okay, C plus H2 plus O2 goes to ethanol. Okay, and make sure this is balanced. So two here, three here, and one half there. Okay, so we want to use the three above reactions. Oh, I didn't write it too beautifully here. This one and two more are given on the page, so let me write those down as well. H2 plus one half O2 goes to H2O. The other one is C plus O2 goes to CO2. Okay, so this is kind of confusing the way I wrote it. This is the overall reaction here, and then I have them. I want to use these three reactions to get the delta H for this one. So let me see if they're labeled. I think this is reaction one, this is reaction two, and this is actually reaction three. What kind of problem is this? Yeah, it's got to be Hess's law. So the way I do these, uh, you look at this equation we've got, there's your carbon right there. I think that's the only place it appears. Hydrogen appears right here, and I think that's it. Uh, O2 is everywhere, unfortunately, here, 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 and there. Uh, and then C2H5OH, that's ethanol. Uh, that one is just there. Everything else is called what? Intermediates. Intermediates. So now I'm going to do my multiplication. Uh, I'm going to start with stuff that is here and only appears in one other place. So carbon's a great place to start. There's two here. So I want there to be two times two of those so that there's two carbons in the reactants. Uh, let's see, O2 would be very difficult if you started there. So skip the O2, it appears too many places. Ethanol, though, should be a fairly easy one. It's on the wrong side, but we want one of them. So I multiply that by minus 1. And then what's left? I don't have a multiplier by this one. So now I've got to look at the O2. I have... Did I miss one? Oh, H2. Fantastic. Oh, this is so easy. Okay, here and here. I multiply this by? 3. Okay, I'm done. So the answer, delta H, for the overall reaction is... 
delta H1 times 3, 3 times delta H1, plus uh, 2 times delta H2, minus delta H3. And numerically, you could calculate that out for that reaction. You just plug in the numbers. That's part B. Part C. We focus on reaction one. What quantity of heat? Okay, this is similar to one we've done before, so I'm going to erase some stuff here. Okay, we have uh, 100 milliliters of O2 and the pressure is 2.55 atmospheres and the temperature is 155 degrees C. I want to know, and that's for oxygen, I want to know the quantity of heat liberated. Well, I have the delta H for this reaction. Delta H for this reaction number one is given in the problem. It's minus 286 kilojoules. How do I make that specific for oxygen? <laughs> yeah, I divide by one half moles of oxygen because I just use it. Whatever coefficient is here. I want to make it specific for oxygen because all my info is given about oxygen. So this is just the general delta H for the reaction. I want it specifically for this information. So now it's per mole. Now I'm going to use this info information here. I've got T, I've got P, and V. I'm going to solve for moles. I'm going to use this with the ideal gas law. Moles is uh, PV over RT. I have all those values. Once I get N, I'm going to multiply this whole quantity by N. So now I have, for that specific reaction, delta H.